hi everyone and welcome so previously we have covered that how to create mqtt publisher using javascript in which we are publishing the random values to some topic and we were reading the data in the mqtt explorer software okay now in this video we will see how to create mqtt subscriber using javascript so this code will continuously publish the random data on particular topic and we will use this code to subscribe to that topic and we will receive the topic values in the console okay so let me show you the difference between uh, this two code okay so this was our previous code where javascript is publishing the data to hive mq mqtt broker and we were reading the data in the mqtt client software which is mqtt explorer software so now instead of mqtt explorer software we will use javascript as a mqtt client or you can say mqtt subscriber which will subscribe to the topic inside hive mq mqtt broker and it will print the topic result in the console okay so uh, we will also run this mqtt publisher code to publish the data and we will use subscriber code to subscribe to that topic and we will print the data in the console so let's start with that okay so here is uh, our two command prompt this one is basic mqtt publisher and this one is basic mqtt subscriber now i'm going to run the publisher code first so node index.js okay so it will connect with hive mq mqtt broker and it will publish the random data to this topic now i have already set up everything inside the folder i have already installed libraries and everything okay we will run the index.js file for subscriber and we will subscribe to this topic and we will have the updates of this topic in the console so i'm going to run node index.js okay so you can see connected to mqtt broker and it is subscribed to the topic javascript slash random and you can see the latest value is 19 and here also 19 then after 52 then after 7 and then after 56 okay so this is how you can use javascript to create your own mqtt subscriber client so it will subscribe to any topic in your broker and it will receive the topic update and after that you can do whatever you want to do so after this point after this point instead of printing the values in the console you can log your data in the sql table you can create your own uh, gui as per your requirement so everything is possible once you use javascript as a mqtt subscriber or client okay right now we are monitoring our mqtt topic values in the console but we don't want to do that we want to monitor this mqtt topic value in our browser using websocket then how we can do that so that thing we are going to cover in the next video okay so instead of this lengthy messages and continuous uh, black and white screen we will monitor our data in the web browser so it will be more convenient and more easy to monitor our data okay so that thing we are going to cover in the next video and if you want to download the code for this mpdt subscriber okay then you can click here and you can download the code okay now in the next video we will see how to monitor real-time mqtt data in the browser using javascript and the websocket so instead of monitoring our data in the console we will use uh, uh, websocket with html pages so we can monitor our data in the browser directly okay so i hope this thing is clear and inside this uh, project folder we will have a few files let me show you so in the mqtt subscriber project folder we will have this much of file config.json index.js and two packages file okay you don't have to touch index.js uh, but you can only touch index.js if you want to modify the main file otherwise you have to only configure your uh, details in the config.json file okay so you have to provide your broker details here you have to provide broker port username password and the base topic okay yeah and the topic we have subscribed javascript slash random that thing we have covered in the index.js file so you can modify it as per your requirement okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can comment on this video also you can send me a mail so let's meet in the next video. 
and in the next video we will see real time mqtt data visualization in the browser using javascript and the websocket so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you